let them grow and let's create custom trees in Minecraft. All right, we found some back in challenge with more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom tree to Minecraft. Now, this is very important. We're only adding the tree spawning from a sapling. They're not yet going to spawn inside of the world. That's going to be in the next tutorial. This one is just the sapling and then the spawning from the tree basically however this also does require a little bit of world gen so if you're jumping into this tutorial i highly recommend if you haven't set up the configure features and the place features before then you will have to probably watch the previous tutorial which is the ore generation because that's basically where we set up the configure features this is mostly what we're going to need now also you can take a look at the github repository in the description below and take a look at that as well but that's basically everything you're going to need so let's take a look in the world gen package you want to create a new package called tree and then inside of there we are going to create the pine tree grower class there you go and this will extend the abstract tree grower this one right here we're going to hover over this implement the get configure feature method and then here in the return we're going to make a deliberate error as we do not have the configured feature created yet that we need to return now to return this we can go to the mod configured features class and the first thing we want to do is we want to make a new resource key as this is the first thing we're going to need there's going to be a public static final resource key of type configured feature of type question mark comma question mark i'm going to call this the pine underscore key equal to the register key method. I'm going to call this here pine. There you go. And of course, we also need to now register this for a configured feature. So how is this going to look like? It's actually, I mean, I wouldn't say straightforward, but it is fairly understandable once I go through line by line. So we're going to call the register method, passing in the context and then the pine key. Now, this is a feature dot tree in this case, as this is a tree feature. And for a tree feature, we want to configure this. So we need a new tree configuration, but then we want to do tree configuration dot tree configuration builder. And then here, there's a bunch of things that are going to go in here. The first one is a block state provider. This is going to be a block state provider dot simple. You can see it already suggests this to us. And then we can say mod blocks dot pine underscore log dot get. And then a comma here at the end. And the second parameter that we want to pay put in is a trunk placer in this case we're going to choose the straight trunk placer as this is the easiest i will go through what each of those mean in just a second but let's just do let's say a four and a three right there that's gonna be fine then we need another block state provider once again a simple one for mod blocks dot pine leaves this time dot get there you go and then we need a new foliage placer in this case a blob foliage placer with a constant int dot of we're going to do a three here another constant int of let's say a three again no let's say a two here and then a three at the end and then a new two layers feature size and we're going to do one zero and two and then two closing parentheses dot build and then we can delete one of the closing parentheses and there you go there we have it no errors are remaining now what does this tree configuration mean this is a lot to take in at first glance but when you really look at it you can sort of split it up like this and you can see, well, this block state provider just gives you a block that you should place, right? Which is the pine log, right? That's the normal log that is being placed. And then how is this being placed? In a straight trunk. That's pretty much all that there is to it. And then the second pairing, so to speak, is the leaves, right? So what are the leaves and how are we placing those in a blob foliage fashion, let's say. What I highly recommend if you are interested in trunk and foliage placing, you know, different ones, you can middle mouse button click on this, look at the trunk placer right here and press control H after clicking on it and you can see the different trunk placers and you can basically do the same thing, right? A middle mouse button click on the blob foliage placer, click here, press control H and you will see all of the different foliage placers and you can also make your own custom ones, which we actually will also do in a future tutorial. So we're going to make a custom trunk and a custom foliage placer. It's going to be very interesting, basically just showing how how to do it because getting it to work at all is a tiny bit tricky and then mastering it is of course a lot more tricky but that is basically what we're going to take a look at as well and then here the two feature size over here you can see there are basically i mean just two different feature sizes over here when it comes to the feature size the prevailing idea is that this sort of checks the space around the feature basically the tree right here that is being placed so that is what this is and when it comes to the numbers here in the straight trunk placer and the blob foliage placer highly recommended to just go in here and basically take a look at the super for example you can see the first one is a base height and then you get two random heights that are basically added on top of here the same thing goes for the foliage placer over here the last one here is the height and then this one is the radius and the offset highly recommend it as always to just play around with the numbers here as well as that is probably one of the easiest ways to get the tree that you want
We can go back to the pine tree grower over here and return mod configured features dot pine key over here. And as you can see, everything here now working totally fine. So what we can then do is we can basically close this as we are done with the configured feature and we now just need a custom sapling. So we don't have a sapling just yet as I didn't create that in the custom wood tutorial, but that's going to be fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take in a sapling here. This one is going to require a register block as well. So because this needs a an item associated with it. So there's going to be the pine underscore sapling and of course change the name here as well. Pine underscore sapling. This is going to be a sapling block. And the first parameter is going to be a new pine tree grower, comma, and then you can see block behavior properties. We definitely want to copy one of the saplings over here. It doesn't really matter which one. I do like to choose the oak sapling. And there you go. And that should be pretty much what we're going to need here. But of course, we're not quite done because we need the data gen for this as well. When it comes to the loot, it should just drop itself. I'm pretty sure So that's going to be fairly straightforward, right? We're just going to actually add this here at the end. That's going to be a little bit better, but not twice. Only once. There you go. So it's going to drop itself. But also here in the to do change to sapling. Very important if you followed the creating of the wood tutorial in the leaves. I set this to the sapphire block. This now needs to be the sapling so that the leaves properly drop the sapling as well. That is a very important to change as well. And we can now proceed to the block states. And do we have something? No, we do not. So we need a custom method again. This is going to be available to you sapling block right here. But that is it's not actually that complicated. But you know, it's just a little bit easier with this. It's gonna be mod block start pine sapling there you go this is for the sapling block you just need to add this basically manually because there is no method that i have found that is basically set open for a sapling but that's gonna be okay and then last but certainly not least the this is the item model and this also requires a custom method right here this is gonna be the sapling item as this once again is a little bit different basically it, it is similar to the simple item but it is a little bit different so there therefore i'm gonna do mod blocks dot pine sapling over here you can see this is the sapling, a sapling item custom method. All of the code is always available in the description below in the GitHub repository, so no worries at all. Of course, we also need a translation. Let's not forget that. That's actually also quite important. There you go. This is going to be the pine sapling. And of course, item texture for it as well, because the sapling itself has a custom texture associated with it. So that's going to be okay. And this doesn't go into the item folder, but into the block folder. And you might have already spotted it if you paid attention here to the sapling. This looks for a block, right? So this is going to be looking into the block folder and the item over here. This is why we need this, because this also looks for the block folder. Then we don't have the same texture duplicated for the block and the item, because that's just unnecessary. With this done, we can run the data gen. And of course, I was a little bit too excited. Of course, we still need to add this to the creative mode tab. And once we've done this, we can now jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, back in Minecraft and let's take a look. There is the pine sapling. Let's get some bone meal over here as well. And let's get ourselves a nice little dirt or grass block over here. There you go. And we can actually do the following. We can actually set this down as well. And one of them we can just grow with a with some bone meal and sometimes it takes a while but there you freaking go and i mean look at the beauty of this this is definitely not how a pine tree looks like but you know what it is what it is <laughs> but of course you can always change the foliage placer or the trunk placer but that is pretty cool already and what you can also do is when you do a game rule over here random tick speed and we're just gonna like go crazy at some point over here right if we do 10 times maybe 100 times the speed at some point this should grow uh let's go i mean okay at some point come on Come on, there you go, let's go. <laughs> Just took a moment, but there we go. So it grows both with a bone meal as well as normally. And that's going to be a custom tree added to Minecraft. And as I've already said in this video right here, we'll continue by spawning the tree naturally with Worldgen. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.